Okay, so how to find the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix in this case. So we've got this A, B, C, D here, where A, B, C, D could be any real number. So um, the first thing to do to find the determinant is to kind of understand the symbols of it. So a determinant of this could be written as, you know, D, E, T for determinant, and then whatever the matrix is or you could use just straight up and down lines like an almost like an absolute value so we could find the determinant of a b c d with just those symbols and so what we do first we'll shrink that and kind of put it off to the side maybe make it a little smaller so let's say we went ahead and wanted to find that determinant. So the determinant of A, B, C, D. Okay, all you have to do for that is cross multiply. Take the A times the D and subtract it from the B times the C, crossing the other way. So in our case, the determinant of this matrix would be A, D, minus C, B. And that formula will, will work every time. So let's go ahead and uh, get an example of this. So let's say we had another, another one where we actually had some numbers. So let's say we had 1, negative 3, 2, 4. And we wanted to find the determinant of that. Well, you just take 1 times 4, start here at the upper left and go to the bottom right. So 1 times 4 minus 2 times negative 3. And so that would be, the determinant of this would be 4 plus 6 or 10. So that's your determinant of this particular 2 by 2. Another example, so let's just throw another one up here just to see how we're doing. So give it a shot and see what you can do with it. So let's say we had negative 3, 1, 4, 5. And we want the determinant of that. So at this point, stop the video, see if you can do it. So here's what it would be. It would be negative 15 minus 4. Or your determinant would be negative 19. So let's try a 3 by 3. So this is a little tougher, and we're going to evaluate this particular 3 by 3 by expanding its cofactors. There are other methods, but uh, we'll give this that a try here. Now, before you can expand the cofactors, you need to know uh, we're going to pick either a row or a column, doesn't matter which. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ah, let's pick this column right here. So 5, negative 2, and 1. Okay, so we're going to pick that column. And we're going to work down. Now, what you do is uh, we'll start with, um, let's say, the 5. And so we're going to take 5 times the determinant of um, the matrix if we'd cross that row and column out. So imagine crossing that row out and that column out, and you're left with a determinant of 1, negative 1, 0, 2. Okay, so then you move down, and we'll try a different color here, and we're going to do the negative 2. So we've got a negative 2 then times the determinant of, well, if you crossed out that row and that column, you'd be left with 3, negative 1, 0, and 2. Okay, And then you do the 1, which I'll go back to white. And we don't know if it's plus or minus yet, so I'll just put a 1 there. And then the determinant if you crossed out that row and that column. And so that would be 3, negative 1 and 1, 
negative 1. And I've kind of run out of room. So the next thing we need to determine is, do we add, subtract um, each of these three parts? Well, with a matrix, what you can do, I'm going to shrink that a little bit to kind of put it out of the way. So we can determine our signs. Um, what you can do is, uh, let's say you had any old matrix and you wanted to find the determinant A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. At, what you have to determine is this is like A is row 1, column 1. B is row 1, column 2. C is uh, row 1, column 3. So if you were to add the row and the column and get an odd number, you would want to take that cofactor by negative 1. So like A is 1, 1, that's an even number. That's okay. B is 1, 2, so B would be, you're going to take the cofactor times a negative 1. D C is uh, 1, 3, which is 4, which is even, so that one's okay. D is uh, row 1, column 2, which would be odd if you add that together. So 2 plus 1 is 3, that's odd. E is row 2, column 2, which is 2 plus 2 is even, so that one would stay positive. F is row 2, column 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, that's odd, so F would also, the cofactor would change the sign. And then G is row uh, 3, column 1, so that's positive. H is row 3, column 2, which is, if you add that together, you get 5. So H would be another one that's negative, and I is row 3, column 3, which 3 plus 3 is 6, that's even. So when I followed this row up and down, the 5, the negative 2, and the 1, D, we have to change the sign on that cofactor. Everything else can stay positive. So now my new, my new determinant then is going to be, and I'll do, do it all in one color here, it's going to be 5 times the determinant of 1, negative 1, 0, 2, but the cofactor in the D position, the column 2, row 1 there, um, is and adds up, the rows and columns add up to be an odd number. So we're going to have to change that sign. So instead of a negative 2, it's going to be plus 2 times the determinant of 3, negative 1, 0, and 2. And then plus 1 times the determinant of 3, negative 1, 1, negative 1. And now you can go ahead and, and figure this out. So this would be 5 times 2 minus a negative, well, minus 0, plus 2 times 6 minus 0, plus 1 times negative 3 minus a negative 1, which would be plus 1. And so my determinant then. So my determinant here, let's see if I can get that to kind of shrink down. Yep. So my determinant then would be 2 minus 0. Well, you use your order of operation as 2. So that would be 10 plus 2 times 6 is 12 plus negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And that would be 20. And so that's how you determine a 3 by 3.